Matt, this is Peyton, and today our project is going to be putting a snowblower on this zero turn lawnmower. So up here in Minnesota we get quite a bit of snow. Uh, last year we went without a snowblower. Had a push blade on the Ranger, made it through the year that way, wasn't a big deal, but we're supposed to get some more snow this year so we need to come up with a snowblower. So, what we have here is a late 90s, early 2000s snapper, 60 inch zero turn rider. That was my grandpa's. And we're going to turn it into a snowblower. Uh, plan is, mount the snowblower on the back, where we got the old belt drive for the deck, so we'll come up with something for a PTO shaft there and then we'll end up turning the seat around sitting on it backwards kind of like a reverse Alice shouldn't have to do too much with the steering and everything but first thing we're gonna do is what Peyton take off the deck take the deck off take the seat off anything that we don't need last time we had this thing running it was a couple of years ago so hopefully that still works but we'll worry about that later right yeah we might have to change the oil yeah might have and to change the gas. for sure the gas gas is probably old but yeah. we gotta do a little wiring on that so mm -hmm. you ready to get to it stripping her down all right all right let's get the tearing her apart So the deck didn't come off as easily as I had wished. Turns out we had a little uh, the spline was a little bit seized on and she was real close to flying apart probably on the last mow. But we got everything ripped off that we need to. Mm -hmm. So the plan is we're going to mount the seat in this area and your feet are going to have to be here. So we're going to have to relo relocate the tanks for the hydros probably. Other than that, I think it'll go pretty well. This one's got a 25 horse Kohler on it. So that should be plenty of power for the blower, I think. We're going to end up building ourselves a snow blower. Is this pipe going to come out the top? Maybe. Yeah, we'll build a little hood on it, probably back to here, then we'll have to build a cab and a with the windshield on it, yep. 
And then this is the housing we had bent up for the snowblower. It's going to have a 54 inch snowblower. And then we'll have to come up with some sort of hydraulic lift for that. So, But next we'll uh, continue getting rid of the wiring we need. We don't need. And I'm going to try and reuse some of the parts off this. I was hoping to use that uh, power shaft, but that ain't going to happen. But I think we will use some of the pulley bearings, two of them, for our auger on the snowblower. So, all right, let's get to work on some wiring. Sound good? Back here with the uh, snowblower lawnmower build. Uh, it's been a couple days since the last clip, but we got progress. Got all the deck and linkage and all that stuff taken off. Got the wiring ripped out of it. Just pulled the harness out. We're going to end up redoing all that stuff. Did find a couple issues. We got a small belt alignment issue. Looks like this top and bottom idler pulley might be wore out. And looks like we may have a small leak on the right side hydro. She's a little wet. And we don't appear to have any fluid, so not a big deal. Wash her up. Hopefully it's just that bottom hose. But guy got to thinking about it. We probably should see if it runs. It's been about a year since it ran, so do some quick wiring, get a battery, see if she'll fire up. Alright, so we got a battery wired up, ground and hot to the starter. I got the starter solenoid wire, and then we got our ignition, and then the fuel shutoff solenoid. We'll have to hook them up. Fuel solenoid should be open. Let's hook him on there so we can shut it off. And she's got, you know, two-year-old gas in it, so I don't know what that's gonna do, but give her a little throttle, full choke, and see what happens. or doesn't have spark. Give her a little snort in the carburetor and see what happens. Things have escalated more. Couldn't get any spark. Everything seemed okay, so pulled the motor out. Payton took the shroud off. Took all the bolts out. Uh, checking our magnets. We do have pretty rusty, so we're hoping that's what it is. So we're gonna take some Scotch Brite, shine them up real nice. 
and see if that fixes it. Other than that, our only other problem is going to be the coil box. And hopefully that's not it. So. We'll shine up the magnets. See if we can get some spark. Right, Pity? Mm -hmm. Alright, so I got the scotch bright pad and we're going to shine up the magnets on the flywheel here. And zoom in on that. I got a little bit down here, you can see how rusty they were, so hopefully that's the problem. Them two shined up. Now we should probably clean up the bottom of the bottom of there too, so I'll grab a piece of sandpaper. Scotch bright. Let's get in there and clean them up. installed we got spark so she should fire up There is gas in there. It smells pretty bad. Give it another try.
All right, so we're just about ready to cut out the fan housing. I got the hole cutter 400 all rigged up here on the plasma cutter. We'll cut out that circle for the housing and then I got some other steel over here. We'll have to cut out some end plates. And also, we'll take a strip out of this, six inch strip, that we'll have to roll up for the housing itself. So let's get to cutting. Next thing we got to do is roll up our fan housing. We got a contraption here that my dad built. Yeah, tractor steering wheel and some wrist pins out of a G John Deere. It's kind of crude, but it'll get the job done. So we'll go ahead and roll this up. I got my piece of metal cut. Our fan housing hole is 21 inch diameter, so we're going to need about 66 to make the circle. We got 72 here. We'll leave a little bit left over for the snow chute where it goes out. Uh, we'll get to rolling her up. got the housing all rolled up got the end plates cut out so now we'll get to welding first thing I'm gonna do is weld the end plates in so we can get the housing all square and then we'll tack on the fan housing get that squared up and tacked on and then we'll weld the circle back in to the back of it And after that, we can work on some bearings and stuff for the fan. So, time to burn some metal.
right, so we got the housing all welded up. What we had cut, uh, got it cleaned up a little bit. So now we got to finish off the chute. We got to take this little piece out of here and then we'll box that out. Put a filler piece in up top and on this side. And then the chute will be done and then we can move on to uh, getting our fan and bearings and everything mounted. And that's about it. So we'll get after that. We got some more progress done on the blower. We got our bearings in for our fan shaft. All bolted in and mounted down. Got some gussets on our lift brace. We got these fancy spline couplers that on this side, this is what our sprocket will weld to that'll run over to the jack shaft and the gearbox to get the power from the motor to. On the fan side, we got kind of the same deal. It's got a spline on it. And this is actually a PTO shaft out of a 70 John Deere. Worked pretty good. So we got this hub and this is what our fan will be mounted to. And that'll go on there. Other than that, we got kind of a short list here. Right, Peyton? Mm -hmm. So what do we got left to do? Fan, auger, chute, drive system, mounting, seat, and cab. Yep, so we gotta build the fan. We gotta mount the auger in the front. The auger I got out back, we're gonna try and rob it out of another Craftsman snowblower. Might have to extend it, but I think it'll work. Uh, shoot for the top drive system, which will be the jack shaft, and then we'll get a little power shaft to connect the two. Mounting, I'm gonna try and do uh, kind of a three-point scenario like on a tractor. Not sure how we're gonna lift it yet. Uh, we need to get a seat mounted down there the other way. And last one, cab, question mark, maybe, I don't know. It'd be nice out in the snow. Right. <laughs> so that's what we got left. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode of Rink's Garage. Uh, next episode, we'll get everything put together and hopefully blow some snow, you think? Right. So, if you liked it, liked our video and want to see more, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Please. And uh, we'll see you next time.